Hey y'all. Hi Bucky. Welcome to Life on Helton Creek. Appreciate you joining us today. Um, I know it's been a minute since I've had any content for you, but uh, sometimes life gets in the way. Um, I took off and went on a business trip with Kent. We have an elderly uh, family member that we are taken care of as well. For those of you who've been with me for a minute, you know how we feed, but for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm gonna show you how we feed winter hay. Um, I know a lot of you probably have issues with uh, hay rings and mud and, you know, when they eat out of the hay rings and they're walking and stomping through it and then it rains for three days and it just makes an awful mess. And it's really not good for your cows. It can totally bring up some health issues. So what we do is kind of what they call fence line feeding. And this is our feed shed. But you know, the calves can get in here really good instead of everybody fighting. Now, not to say there's not some fights once in a while, but um, it just makes it all easier, less mess. Um, you know, it is a little bit healthier for the cows and the calves to uh, eat in a semi-clean area. Of course, you know, cows are not clean. Nothing about them are clean, so. It is a beautiful day in Tennessee. Uh, yesterday, it was cold. Well, okay, it wasn't cold. It was 58 degrees. For me, that's cold. Um, 70 is perfect for me. But I know we can't always have our way. So uh, today, the high is 71. I don't know what it is right now, but it is beautiful. The sun's shining. There are a few little puffy clouds here and there, but no rain inside. We have a lot to accomplish today. So uh, you guys hang out. We're gonna, we're gonna see what we can tear up today. What are you doing in Paws Tractor? Huh? You gonna haul some hay? You are? Well, oh my goodness. You gonna talk too? Huh? You gonna talk about it? season has started. We've already fed a little bit of hay and let them finish uh, a little bit of it up, but it is time to, it's time to do the real deal. So we are cleaning this out, pushing all the old hay out. Usually we put about six rolls in here and we're probably gonna go ahead and fill everything up this time. Uh, the girls are already coming in here looking for it and they're, they're ready to go, so. And they eat it clean all the way around. It's amazing how little waste we have since we've been using this method. Uh, very little waste. And so we'll come in and close this gate. We'll put in about six rolls and they won't eat it hardly as fast right now because there is still some grass coming in, but, but they will eat it. While he's going to get another roll of hay, two more rolls of hay, you know, I just want to take a minute to say, if you're not net wrapping, you should be. All of this that we're feeding right now is twine tied. And it's horrible. It's horrible. I'm still not sure if I got all the strings off of it. 
I went over it twice and I'll go over it again here in a minute. And I got a big old wad of string off of it. I know it's a rare occurrence, but it can be dangerous uh, for your tractor, for your, um, for your tractor, for your cows, for your calves. Uh, <laughs> and it can be a pain in the tush. That twine's hard to cut off, especially for a height challenged person like myself. Y'all need to get some net wrap for your hay. It's a whole lot easier. Just, just saying. Bucky's over there just a hollering cause he's smelling fresh hay. We're gonna give him some too. have it six rolls of hay in a clean environment any words of wisdom on the fence line feeding pot uh it's the bomb diggity uh, <laughs> keeps the tractor out of the mud keeps you from sacrificing a lot of property a lot of uh a lot of land that you have to re-sow over and over and over keeps cows out of the mud keeps the babies out of the mud keeps the babies out of mud uh it does uh it's just a lot of advantage to it uh we have to do ours indoors but it doesn't have to be indoors no it can be right along a fence when we first started doing this i wasn't real sure about it and they clean it up all the way to the floor what you saw us raking out earlier was last year's hay and maybe a piece of old hay that we had put in there just for them to nibble on. Um, well, we had those uh, we had those cheeseburgers in here, and they had some yeah. Food. That's that's what the we did have the cheeseburgers in here, yeah. but they are uh, I I prefer to call them filet mignon, but um, they have gone to be processed, and so now we're cleaning everything up for the big girls to come in, and. Typically, it's seven days for six rolls, right? Yeah. Every seven days. But it's still early. We haven't had any real cold weather. There's still a little bit of grass out there. And uh, so it might take them a little longer the first couple of times we fill it. It might take them a little longer to empty it out. Here's one example of fence line feeding. Three sides for them to, to feed from clean neat i mean you do have to scrape the poop out yeah we have to clean the barn out about you know once a month. and we're going to try using corn stalks for bags yeah we're going to try to put some we have a friend that um wants us to come bail his corn stalks and we're going to use those to put in the on the floors over here and we'll clean it out maybe once a month yeah maybe just depends uh, so it's not a lot of maintenance at all. It's nothing like trying to feed it on a hay ring and feed two rolls a day and clean it out and move the hay ring and yeah, it's it's. We're gonna try mechanical concrete if I never get the license and get the yeah. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard him or not, but we're gonna try what? Mechanical concrete. Mechanical concrete. Well, we got to get up to Lexington. Lexington. Kentucky, I can't talk, to uh, to fetch some and get it down here and try it. We're always up for something new. If it works, that's great. And uh, if it doesn't, we'll move on to something else. But so far, we research it pretty good before we try it. And uh, so far, we've had really good luck, especially with this fence line feeding. It's just made all the difference in the world um, to not have to feed again for you know, seven days, eight days, just depending on the weather and what your herd is. And if you want any further information about that, you can leave a comment below or send an email. Pa is always excited to talk new inno innovations in the cattle business. Pa, do you know what black woolly worms mean? Bad that means a bad winter. Heavy snow, cold weather, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh.
Do you know what it means, number six? Huh? Do you?